we are now going to talk about matrix multiplication. And as part of this, we're going to talk about the order of the matrices, because the order is incredibly important. Now, this is similar to matrix equality and matrix addition, but there is a very, very fundamental difference. Suppose that we have an M by P matrix, and we're going to times that by a P by N matrix. And this always has to be true. Do you notice what we just did? We said that the last number of the first or one order and the first number of the second order have to be the same. These have to be P's. And if it is, then the result will always be an M by N matrix. So it keeps the rows of the first one and the columns of the second one, but only if the columns from this one match the rows from this one. So for instance, Suppose we have a 3 by 5 times a 5 by 4. The resulting matrix, so this always results in the 5's match, so we're going to get a 3 by 4 matrix. And if I have a 5 by 2 times a 2 by 1, this is going to become, again, the 2's match, so this ends up as a 5 by 1 matrix. Now if I try to do a 3 by 5 times a 2 by 1, these don't match. 5 doesn't match 2, so this has no result. You cannot multiply these matrices together. The rows in one have to match the columns of the other. The columns from this one has to match the number of rows from this one, or it will not work.